It's a lot of work flying, burns a lot of calories. Every once in a while, we hit these airports. Like, it's just good to hit civilization every once in a while when you get out in the middle of nowhere and you feel so, I don't know, anxious because of how far away you are. It's really nice to know there's people around and then we're down on the ground and, I don't know, just little bits of civilization every once in a while. This overstuffed peanut butter and jelly sandwich that Matt made me is delicious. And we hardly ever stop to eat. We're in Petersburg, Alaska. Sometimes getting fuel is a challenge. They don't have auto pay. Nobody's here. So we have to call around as we land, find someone who will come out here and turn on this pump for us so we can get fuel. The guy said it was gonna be 20 minutes. I think both Matt and I were glad to get out and take a break. We have been frantically flying around seeing things, shooting video. It, it's been a madhouse in a very good way for the last 12 hours. Everything's looking good so far. It's kind of good that we're not picking up any dust in our filter going, you know, it's a really clean air out here. I love how clean that looks. This bird has to cover another probably like total maybe 1,700 to 2,000 miles. The return journey can be just as dangerous. Go, we're in Juneau, Alaska. It's the, probably the furthest most, you know, the, the northernmost uh, place in Alaska we're gonna go. But we also feel like maybe we could try and go out for Glacier Bay and uh, work our way a little bit more north just to see the massive glaciers out there and could be amazing. We're gonna go to the Mendenhall Glacier this morning. Just a massive uh, sheet of ice that's just north of us right here. And um, gosh, it should be interesting. Mostly just fun to fly over and check out new stuff. Matt has done a thorough look over of the helicopter and he hasn't seen any strange foreign fluids in any of the compartments. And I've been told that that is a very good sign. It took four days to get to this point. Uh, four days where every day got better than the previous. And I'm hoping that, that that's true on the way down, that that trend will continue and every day will be better than the previous. I might be asking for a little too much, but we're gonna load up here in Juneau and we're gonna have a fun time here at our northernmost point. Hold up, we're Alpha Juliet, Juneau Tower. Good morning, go ahead. Uh, yeah, we're just here on the uh, west end of the field and uh, with information Foxtrot. We're going to be at VFR departure to the northwest. Sam Creek departure approved. Sam Creek departure approved. That's pretty cool. Camera roll on. Yep, full fire. Freaking huge. Drone going through there would be so rad. Fly through this crack with the drone behind you. Yeah, or that crack. Careful. Okay, give yourself a little bit more room. This is good, right? I think so. Once we go through that, that thing's cool.
After getting our fill of sightseeing on the Mendenhall Glacier, we decide to go for it and fly out to Glacier Bay National Park, which is only a hop, skip, and a jump away. This is our most northerly point. From here on out, every mile we fly will take us a mile closer to home. I don't need to say this, but I'm going to. I hate flying over this frigid, slush-looking water. I'm with you 100%. Like, no bank. You couldn't climb up that bank. You just slip. I'm not even afraid of cold water to swim in it. Ice, ice cold. This is a whole different level. This isn't like, hey, jump in and jump out. This is jump in, be wet. It's 60 degrees out, and then you're here for the rest for days. How tall would you say this glacier is, honestly? Now that you get up there to it, right? Yeah. I think you're right. You said a couple hundred feet. We're 180 feet above the water right yep. now. Watch out for this stuff. I don't like this blue ice at all. It looks vicious. We're back in Juneau at three o'clock in the afternoon. We flew locally around the Mendenhall Glacier. And then on a whim, we flew up to Glacier National Park. And I gotta say, I'm glad we did because it was the perfect way to end our Northern progress. It was awesome. It was everything I was never told it would be and more. And now we're all packed up, we're refueled here in Juneau, and we're gonna start heading south Got about 1,800 miles plus between us and home. We're gonna try and make it home over the next couple days. We just found this ice cave on our way out of Juneau, and we had to stop. It was too good of an opportunity to pass up. This is only a small part of the cave. These blue tubes titillated us from the air, and it was just begging for a viewing. Look at this. Holy crap. I've never, it looks like a neon freaking blue. Let's go check out that 
big giant gaping hole. These things are definitely dangerous, and I know that. Just for anybody watching, you don't need a lecture from me, I know. That's why there was a, a hint of fear on my face the entire time we were in there, because I know how dangerous these things are. But still, pretty awesome experience to see this in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. That was way cool. That, that's how this adventure goes, you think? So how did you plan it all? Nothing's planned. We just, we fly, and we point, and we go, and we check it out, which is why they probably call this the last frontier. It's also why it's so freaking dangerous. That no one's been through here. We don't know. This whole thing could be collapsed in the morning and it could be collapsed 10 minutes after we take off or we might see it collapse. But the good thing is we're pretty mountain savvy. Don't think that these guys are just running all over the place, getting into trouble. We've spent our whole lives in the mountains. It doesn't make it any more safe though. It just lets you know that we're a little bit more aware of what's going on. That said, we did go at the hottest time of the day, the first sun out, and this thing was cracking all over the place. We, we, anytime we heard a crack, we ran so freaking quick. We both bolted like mice. Let's get out of here. Started this morning in Juneau, flew around the Mendenhall Glacier, back to Juneau, refueled, went up, around, and through Glacier Bay National Park, back to Juneau, and then we've been flying from Juneau to Petersburg here. It's been, I can't even remember where we've been. We've been so many places recently, it's hard to keep track of them all. But right now we're in Ketchikan, again, on the border. Tomorrow we'll get clearance to go into Canada. Got to ask them for permission to enter. And then we'll try and make it all the way, I think, to close to Vancouver, if possible. The highlight of the day was definitely Glacier Bay. I've never seen anything like it. Which I've said almost every day we've been on this trip. And the truth is, I haven't seen anything like it because I've never been in Alaska or Canada in a helicopter. So, new views all around. Uh, the low point of the day, though, was hassling with my camera equipment. Lots of dead batteries, full SD cards at the wrong moment. It's just hard to keep track of all of this stuff. We usually have three or four cameras going at the same time. And then when I'm flying the drone inside the helicopter, that's a whole new level of stress. 